Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of Financial Function and Formula in Excel. So in this video, we are going to talk about one more important topic in financial sector, which is depreciation. So you may have a car with you, or any asset you have owned, like a furniture or a PC or something like that, and each and every asset comes with a depreciation value or depreciated value. So we are going to cover that in Excel and Excel offers us a five types of depreciation functions, which we are going to explain as an overview in this video. So you will get to know SLN function, which is the straight line function. And we are going to cover next is SYD, which is sum of years digit. And next will be the DB, which is declining balance. And then the two important and most used function ddb which is double declining balance and vdb which is variable declining balance so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are going to cover each and every aspect of excel in upcoming days years and months so let's get started so here we have a very basic sheet here which is we have our vehicle cost about 30000 and we have a residual value 3000 residual value also known as salvage value which is the estimate value of a fixed asset at the end of lease term or useful life. Suppose you have a car here, like here if vehicle cost is 30,000 and minimum value in the end of the life will be 3,000 for this particular scenario and the life is 20. So residual value will be, or you can say the end term value will be 3,000. So we have a years column here, which is one to 20 and we are going to find different types of uh, depreciation using this particular function which we I have put it in the headers. So let's get started with the first one which is SLN function or you can also say straight line function. It is very straightforward and easy because each year the depreciation value will be the same. Okay. So SLN function let me just explain it here. How does it perform? So SLN function performs like a depreciation value of in our case is 30,000 minus 3,000 which is the residual value or you can say salvage value divided by 20 years. So that's how straight line and it remains fixed throughout our period. Okay. So it will just change 30,000 minus 27,000 and it will be divided by the life we have put on our asset which is 20 here okay so that's how we are going to perform here so let's get to our formula here so here we have SLN so first is cost so what will be the cost cost will be this particular cell I want you to make it an absolute reference because that particular cell is not going to change but our formula will be applied to all corresponding years right and the salvage salvage as we have discussed is the residual value so residual value is this and don't forget to make it absolute reference with the help of f4 because residual value won't be changed okay so we have a year here years or you can say a life of our asset which is 20 given so let's make it an absolute also because that's not going to change and close the parenthesis and click enter so that is the value you will get as a depreciation value for the first year so that is on the basis of straight line okay so it will it won't change as the coming years like this so if you say first year depreciation value will be this second it will be this and third will be that and it will remain same till 20th year so hope you understand how sln function works for the depreciation and that's how it calculates your assets depreciation value so now we are going to syd function here syd function is sum of years digit which is also very straightforward but let's find out how you calculate in mathematical expression okay so why i'm doing this because it will give you an overview how these function works in real life like on a pe pen or paper and how it get expressed in excel's format so sum of years digit as name suggests 
so that's how it performed let me just write it down so what does sum of years digit mean so we have a life of 20 years so this formula just calculate first the sum of those years like first year will be this second will be 3 4 to the 20 and whatever the sum will be like in this case let's just say n i don't want to perform my calculation here but let me just give you whatever the total of this 1 2 3 2 20 will be n okay so this particular number will be divided to the year or you can say the life year one here and multiply by that our uh, remaining value remaining value which will be the remaining value the vehicle minus residual value so that's how we have done here but here's a different approach towards it so how it performs it performs like this and we got the total number so i just took it as a n so for the for first year i can just write down the period number which is one the formula will be one by n the total number of years digits as function says should be multiplied by 30,000 minus 3000 the value which go is going to be depreciated was those years so that's how you get your first year's depreciation hope you understand that okay so you can just browse that in detail in just googling it out so this is just the overview video to list out the possible ways to find a depreciation for your asset here but if you are a banking background you should or you may know these terms by heart so let's just apply that in the excel expression just open up the formula it's ready so we have a cost here which is very straightforward just do make it an absolute reference here and the salvage is also very straightforward do make it an absolute reference here and the life is also the same do make it an absolute reference here and the fourth argument here is period like we have just calculated here the first period divided by the total number of digits right or you can say total number of or you can say sum of years digit and multiply by these two values so that's how excel express that way so just click this don't don't make it a reference absolute reference because we are going to apply to our rest of the cells here and close it down so there you go you get your first answer is 2571 which is first year's depreciated value and if you apply it to draw so you get all the depreciated number along such years so hope you understand how syd works in excel so if you have get it by now please click the like button because this is very hard for a regular excel user to explain such concept because we had to research set that topic for you so now we are going forward to db here so db is a bit more complicated than these two SLN and SYD because DB stands for declining balance and it uses a fixed rate to calculate depreciation values okay okay so to find a fixed rate we have a different formula in our real life and and for the explanation I'm just going to write a formula for the fixed rate that we use in our real pen and paper life so how we find a fixed rate here fixed rate is equal to 1 minus residual value divided by cost to the power 1 by life right and in our example it is 1 minus residual value is 3000 and the cost is 30,000 to the power 1 by 20 so that's how we usually calculate right and you can just uh, use the calculator to find the value but your value will be the same as we incur in our cell here but these are the fixed rates so i am just uh, denoting it as fr so whenever you find the fixed rate first then we will go to the depreciation value for the period one so depreciation value for the period one for the db which is the declining balance here will be the total amount or you can say the total cost multiply by a fixed cost so fixed one usually comes as a in a decimal number so you, whatever you answer get by these formula this formula you have to multiply that by the 
cost here and for this similarly for the second whatever you answer you get from the first you need to first subtract that from the cost like here and multiply that by fixed rate so that's how you get your depreciation for the second term using day declining balance okay so now we are going to apply that in our worksheet using our excel expression of functions so let's see how does it work so it has a cost which is this i think it's very straightforward so the functions here are very straightforward but to understand the logic behind those function is very important that's why i've used this area to describe how does excel perform such calculations okay. so salvage here is the residual value do make it an absolute i'm sorry i didn't here and the life is here make it an absolute but the period is this we don't need to make it an absolute just click enter so you get the answer here like this and if we apply to all you get all the depreciation value using db function or you can say declining balance function for this scenario so hope you understand these three functions until now if you have please click the like button <laughs> why i'm saying this because it took me a uh, two or three days to understand the logic behind it because i am i'm not a, because we are not from banking or financial background but we have just created this playlist for you so we are moving towards the next which is ddb double declining balance in excel so ddb double capacity is also not as complicated as the declining balance but it's also very straightforward if you see and to understand that let's use the mathematical expression so as name suggests it's a double declining balance so and so any fixed rate we calculate using its formula of fixed rate we have to multiply that by 2 for example fixed rate to calculate fixed rate for tdb it has to be 1 by total life here right and multiply that by 2 so it's usually 0.05 into 2 is equal to 0.1 so it uses that fixed rate to apply to the depreciation value so how it calculates the depreciation value for the first term you just need to multiply this number with the fixed rate which we have calculated here and for the second you need to subtract whatever the answer you get here and multiply that again same by fixed rate here it's very similar to db but it's not that complicated like declining balance here. so let's just apply that to our excel equations here or you can say expression here so for the ddb just enter the ddb function here and for the cost part we have the cost and we have the residual value and the life here just make it absolute here and the period will be this don't make it an absolute just close the parenthesis so we get first here 3000 and it just decline towards the r uh, 20 years of life so hope you understand ddb here to calculate your depreciation value in excel okay so next formula is vdb to calculate depreciation in your worksheet so vdb is variable declining balance it's very similar or it uses ddb function which was double declining balance as we have done in this mathematical equation so it will be the same not the same but in the vdb the fourth argument indicates the starting period and the fifth argument indicates the end period so the vdb function actually performs the same calculation as ddb function however it switch to straight line calculation to make sure you reach your residual value or you can say salvage value so let's get on to its arguments so i'm not di diving deep into its mathematical expression it uses the same so to the argument here we have a vdb so first is cost cost here we have a 30000 so let me just make it an absolute reference so next is salvage which is the residual value so residual value is this let's make it a absolute reference so now it says it says the life so life we know it has 20 term so there you go you should make it absolute reference 
so here we have a ending period first and then we have a factor here and then we have a no switch here so starting period will be this as we can say but our starting period should be from the zero right the, the time we have invested our amount in our vehicle here so it should be minus one so starting will be like that and ending will be this why this because for the first term the ending is this but starting will be the previous term which is the zero so ending will be this year so for the first term so that's how you calculate that so hope you understand why we have included minus one because the starting period will be the zero here for because the day we have invested our amount is our starting period and the ending period will be the one year or one term as you can see so that's how you calculate the starting and the ending period here so let's just close it down so here we get the first depreciation value will be this and if we apply to all here so as you can see here it goes to straight line calculation why because to meet the residual value as we know we have a residual value of 3000 so until this period until 15 period it's just depreciating at its usual calculation but after when the depreciation formula calculates that it will go down below 3000 is as its residual value then it goes to the straight curve here. okay so that's the difference between the variable declining balance and the double declining balance so it just go down to the straight line calculation when it just ascertain that the value will go below the residual value of our asset or our investment hope you get to know how to use this variable declining balance in for the depreciation of your asset so hope you have learned from this video the different method or to calculate your depreciation and if you want to do it uh, in deep or you can say depth i will link certain blogs links in description box so such that you can click on it and just learn it down just learn it as deeply as possible such that it will satisfy your work requirement so if you have learned something from this video even a little bit i know this subject was very complex for regular user but if you are into financial work around in excel then this video must be useful for you if it was please click the like button if you want to subscribe to this channel i want to learn much more about this piece of powerful software then you can click on the subscribe button and if you want to share this video to your colleague friends or forums then you can click on the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye